the best feng shui element for this property welcome back to my pedagogical feng shui channel and i'm so excited to launch this new series to you which is open house feng shui inspection so in this new series we are not going to sit here we're going to go out to different open house to take a look and then to see what's the good feng shui element for that open house and then what's the bad feng shui element for that open house and i will also provide some solution how we can neutralize it how we can fix that feng shui issue so i want to use this real example to share the feng shui knowledge to you and just for your information for me i'm a feng shui master i didn't sell property so if you are interested in buying that property or have uh, some question about that property you can ask the agent and i will list his information in um, the channel so his phone number email whatever so you can contact the agent directly so have a more information and i just want to share the function knowledge to you so are you guys ready okay let's go welcome back to our channel today we're so special we have sylvia here she's going to show us her lovely open house sylvia welcome welcome up to our channel Thank you so much. Thank you, Master Alex Z, for having me here. I'm very oh, honored pleasure, to have you pleasure. here. Um, I appreciate that. You're at, uh, my name is Sylvia Ramos. I'm a full-time realtor. You're here at 8174 Spirit in the city of Chino at the Preserves. It is a lovely three bedroom, three, ba um, three baths, primary room, office space, currently used as a guest room. You, you walk into an end unit here into a lovely open concept space with um, high ceilings and you have resist lighting into an open kitchen you have a half bath downstairs and upstairs it's a two level upstairs you do have your bedroom quarters including your laundry space with custom shelves and it has beautiful natural light throughout and the um, best part of this is that you can park your two cars into your two car garage have easy access into the unit as you can see this area here it's kind of like a Santa Barbara vibe it gives you like this nice breeze it's kind of a sweet spot we've had quite a few people here today and it's a sweet spot gateway to Orange County and it's, I, I can't say enough this area here is feels so safe and you have um, a nice diverse in age in culture in the evenings you have your dog walkers your cyclists you can go over to any of the cabanas around here and enjoy outdoor quality living so i i just i welcome you here to thank walk you, in through you. the front doors uh, master alex um he's phenomenal he's helped me sell many properties challenging properties this is not a challenging property this is vacant now for those of you that are renters and your leases are up this is a place for you or this is a place for anybody that just wants to come and enjoy the beautiful landscape and everything that this place has to offer let this be the place for you bring your agent place your offer or give me a call thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you Sophia. thank you thank, thank you. you best feng shui element for this property which is you can see that this is high ceiling high ceiling actually is really really good in feng shui because when you sit here you can have a, like a high ceiling more relaxed and then when you walk over here high ceiling can give you more space so high ceiling can consider as a good feng shui here this is a really good feng shui element and something we need to improve it. okay the first thing bad feng shui element which is this shell here you can see that when you sit on the couch here and then the shell is just on top of your head. It's giving you some pressure. It's just something like an overhead beam to give the pressure on the seat here. So this shell is not really good feng shui to the couch. Another good feng shui element here is for this home office. You can see that for this desk and chair, when you sit here, you have a really solid back support here. So when you sit here, you can see all the wheels you can see the wheel from the outside and you can have a window wheel so this is really really good for you you have a, this support to help you out and something bad is for the wall for this color actually you can see that it's a little bit too dark 
So just the color, if you want, you need to change it to a more light color. That will definitely help. Another good feng shui element for this property is for this master bedroom. You can see that the bed is here, and then we have the bed support at the back. And for the ceiling, it's no bulky fans, no like a bulky lighting, and then the window is apart from the bed. So this part we consider as a good feng shui here. Okay, for the bed feng shui element, which is here, we definitely we need a door here to separate the master bedroom and then the bathroom and then the toilet. And here you can add a door here that you can fix the issue. So here we are lacking a door to separate the bathroom and then the bedroom. 